All right, all right, all right, what is going on? We are in the midst of final round weekend. So I'm not gonna be here. I'm basically thinking I'm probably gonna be here for like one round of matches and then I'm gone. But I'm not really looking forward to it thanks to the, um, the variety in connection speeds. Like there's, there's one of everything in here. There's the host. And then there's a zero bar, a one bar, a two bar, and then me, a three bar. So, yay. I'm thrilled and excited for this potential. Very much so. Like, you have no idea. I think you can probably tell from what I can only describe as pure excitement in my voice right now. This connection just looks, I mean, just watching it, it absolutely, it looks amazing. I'm stop hitting A so much. <laughs> you could be doing so much damage if you weren't doing three A's per combo. Not that it mattered, because they won. But still. You gotta learn all about what the hell. It was weird, but it worked. That was very weird. Yeah, you gotta learn about um um words I can't remember. Combo proration. Oh boy, why am I why am I here? Why am I here? I should just be watching final round. They're pretty good, so I mean, it's really fun, because usually, in most games, pools are kind of useless to watch just because they're pools. Like, it's where, it's where the weak get weeded out. But, Street Fighter 4 has been around long enough now that, like, there really are, there's not much left. There aren't many players left that you're just watching and you're like, why am I even seeing, like, basically pop monsters. Who, like, they only are there to hand their money to the top three or whoever gets paid out in the end. There's very few of those left. Almost everybody that is in the game... Hey, look at that. We added... Aw. I was going to say, we added the final one to the to uh, everything, but there's still... There's the two bar dropped to a one bar. Um, There's very few people left that are just purely like, this person has no business being here, period. Everybody is good. You know, they may not be the best, there are plenty of people that you can see play and you're just kind of like, okay, that person is never going to win a tournament. But they can still make a competitive match out of it and they still have the potential, like, for, for instance, they'll never beat, like, you know, the top, the higher echelon of the Street Fighter world in like a first to ten or anything, like a longer set, they would never win. But in a shorter set, they might win. Like, they're good enough now where they can... Anybody can win in a two out of three. It's kind of the same, you know, the same thing with Marvel. Anybody can win in a shorter set. It's only in, like, the very extended sets that you really can see, like, the difference in quality of uh, how good you are in the game. And so, Pools and Street Fighter now are, like, they're very worth watching versus the rest of the games, which really just are not there. They're not at that level quite yet. But I do greatly enjoy watching Street Fighter, even though I, I've i never committed myself to getting to a point. Damn, he goes hella high on the screen right there. I've never committed myself to a point where I'm any good at it. I still really do enjoy it. And I could be there right now instead of- OR I could be playing Sweet Code in 2! How dare none of you assholes tell me that Sweet Code in 2 is now available for download on PlayStation 3, on PSN, as a uh, PlayStation Classic. It's clearly been there a while, like it's not new, it's decently- it's decently old, cause it's kind of sort of down the list. I just decided, like why the fuck not just check it out when I was looking at the uh, you know how there are certain games that are free? every month if you are a PlayStation Plus member. The ones on PS4, if I'm remembering correctly, are very good. I think you get Valiant Hearts, which everybody loves. I've heard nothing but praise for that game. I haven't played it myself yet, but I did get it. Um, and there was one other, whatever the other game, I can't even remember. Don't even matter. It don't even matter. Um, um, but yeah, so I just I went to I just checked the other stuff, just look at you know what's available for PS2 and PS1 classics, and all of a sudden, hey look at that, 
It's Sweet Coden 2. Oh my god. So now I need to play that too. Too many games. Too many games. Not enough time. Bloodborne's coming soon. I should not be playing this clearly because god damn. This does not look enjoyable. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever that was. God damn it. Yeah, this, this is, yeah. What can I say? What can I say? God damn it, my buttons just are not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's as bad of a connection as you would expect it to be. I believe that just beat me. Yeah, I tried to throw. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have tried to time anything. Oh, wow, okay. God damn it! That is exactly what I- whatever. What the hell? I ain't even mad about it. What the hell? God! <laughs> it's so infuriating playing in a terrible connection. It's just, there is nothing that is worse. Like, get my ass completely handed to me, hand somebody else they ass, it doesn't matter. There is nothing worse than playing in a bad connection. And that's all that was. So hopefully me being a 3 bar and this dude being a 4 bar means we're good. I don't understand. Oh no. I absolutely do not understand in any capacity why they made this lobby display this way. In every single Arc System Works game, I have no concept of how they believe this logical how it shows everybody's connection to the host and not your connection with everybody it makes absolutely no damn sense to me oh wow i cannot believe you didn't hit that okay whoops Did that just punish me? I'm confused. What just happened? What just what just what is happening? Lag is happening, that's what's happening. Okay. I feel like I blocked that, but obviously I didn't. God damn, that is not what I did. <laughs> this is killing me. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I wish I did. What's that? Okay, buttons just. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I can't jump out of pressure. Yeah, that was, my, that was bad. That was bad. I should have gone for the overhead. That was. I don't know. I don't. Like I said, I don't know what happened there. This is why I will never. Almost never. There's no rank matches in this game. Nobody plays rank mode unless, like, I'm willing to sit for a minute between matches. But this is why. I hate playing in lobbies against 
Just, just play. I hate playing in lobbies. An arc system works lobbies. In Capcom lobbies, you see your well, not in Marvel. In Street Fighter lobbies, just let's roll back to Street Fighter. Why not? In Street Fighter lobbies, it shows you what your connection is to the person you're playing. When you're in a, an art system works lobby, it is a complete crapshoot whether or not you are in a good connection or a bad connection. And like I said, I assumed, I believed, I hoped that so this dude being a four bar connection to the lo to the host and me being a three bar connection would be good, but it was not. It was very spotty throughout, and there were moments where it definitely got very bad, and I just... I hate playing in lobbies because of that. I can't do... I'm already not good at this game. I am very... I recognize that fact extremely well. It is very obvious to anybody watching that I have a long way to go if I want to be at any level of quality in this game, but when this is my battlefield, this is my option for competition, I am not going to improve in environments like this. It's not going to happen. You can't do what you need to do in a laggy environment. And so... Like, I have no real recourse in a game that just, like, I thought this game had a better population than it did. Just because it actually has a fairly strong tournament presence. Is this guy asking me to play? That might be what this is. No. I mean, I mean, I mean, thank you for the compliment, but like, we were hella laggy, bro. We were hella laggy. Like, I wish I could see... This dude with a good attitude right there, it makes me sad that I have a shitty connection with him. Or her. I don't know. It could be a her. It makes... Like I said, it makes me sad that I have a terrible connection. Because... That would be somebody worth playing. They just... They want to play. They think I've got a decent Inase, which they are very mistaken, but... Since they don't have much of a, uh... Basis of comparison... All they really got to go on is me, so I can't blame them, but still it's just, uh, like I said, there's, there's nothing that is more irritating, that is aggravating than playing in a laggy environment, regardless of whether or not you're winning, losing, whatever, you are not playing the way you want to play, it is like, it's just a simple fact that you are never going to be able to play the way you want to if it is laggy. And this is my, I mean, like I said, I, there's been, um, there were two lobbies available, and one of them, it annoys me so much, because one of the lobbies that's always available for me is that Twitch stream person, that's always a three bar connection for me, but it's always, whenever I join it, it's always zero or one bar people playing in it. And so it does, I thought this game would have, like I was saying before, I thought this game would have a stronger presence online, because it does have a pretty decent online, I mean not online, tournament presence. Like, out of the people that were signed up for NorCal Regionals, I know I mentioned this before, Unil was second best in anime game-wise, only to Guilty Gear, and it wasn't by that wide of a gap. Wow, this is be great right now. I just, I really, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, let's just go. I'm gonna go see whether or not there's. Let's go check out an Anase replay. Hopefully, I can find one. Um, can I? I guess I can't. That's disappointing. Why can't things be made well? And by well, I mean, like, why would you not feature some sort of character search? There's nothing, there's nothing on here that allows me to search by character. I am probably not going to find an Anase. Oh, right when I say that. Oh, I forgot how long this is going to take, though. <laughs> I, for I forgot the last time we did this, it took like two minutes. Oh, boy. See, I should just, I should just, I should, I should just, I should just give up on fighting games forever and only play Sweet Coden. <laughs> Nothing else. No other games. Just Sweet Coden. That's it. Oh my god. With the verifying replay data.
<laughs> why must you curse me so? Every damn time. Why does it do this? It's just, it's stuff like this. Stuff like this that makes me want to be a pro. Oh. I shouldn't be too. I shouldn't be too judgmental right now, but still. 43.9% win rate. Yeah. Way too passive already. This is not a game where you can play passively. That is just not going to work out. Punish. This Carmine is going in hard. Not really completing anything, but still going in hard. And that is this game's version of a Gale Perfect. Did they even the only did this character, this person, this poor, this poor, poor Nanase threw out one move, and it was probably an attempt at a throw tech, and instead got a crouching A. What it looked like. This. And didn't even tech. Well. <laughs> I'm glad I downloaded the Nanase replay. Okay. How do I delete you? That's how I delete you. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to, like... I don't know. Analyze stuff beforehand. Why? Why are you... Why do you have to verify my replay data before you delete my replay? I hate every, everything to do with Arc System Works online systems that have occurred in, since basically... CS Continuum Shift, that's what it's called, since Continuum Shift have been terrible, have been atrocious, aggravating, and I wish I could just, like, send them a written list of, like, do this, stop doing this, and they would follow it, and I would love it, but no, they don't care about me, they, I don't live in Japan, they don't, they don't care about me at all, so I'm just gonna go before I go on a 50-minute rant about how bad the, all of their online stuff...